Question 23. The diagram shows a pyramid. BCDE is a square with sides of length 10 centimeters. The other faces of the pyramid are equilateral triangles with sides of length 10 centimeters. Part A is to calculate the volume of the pyramid to give your answer correct to three significant figures. Now while it doesn't give you the formula for the volume of a pyramid, what the formula sheet at the front does give you is the volume of a cone. Now a cone is just a circular based pyramid, so it's a good reminder that we need to have one third times the area of the base times by the height. So to work out the volume of this we just need one third times by the area of the base, and that's a square, we're told, so it's 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres, so times 10 squared, times by the height. So all we need now is to work out what the height of our pyramid is. Well, we know that that's a diagonal length of 10 centimetres, but what we're going to be dealing with here is a little bit of three-dimensional Pythagoras. If we want the perpendicular height from here, the top of our cone, down to the base, we're going to need to know one of the other missing sides. Now we know that if that one's 10, if we can work out what the distance is from the middle to one of our points, then we have two different points on our triangle and can therefore work out what the height is. To do this, we could work out the complete length of the diagonal of our square. With that, we can half it to find out what this bottom length of the triangle is. So I'm going to, just to ease things up, I'm going to call this point F. F is the middle of our base. So if I'm trying to work out the length of F to D, it's going to be equal to a half of the whole diagonal. That's the half of BD. So what's the length of BD? So BD is equal to, so remember Pythagoras, we know that each side is 10, so it's going to be the square root of 10 squared add 10 squared. So it's the square root of 200 square root of 200 is 14.142. I'm going to leave it at three decimal places but leave that number on my calculator. So if I half that value I can see that FD is equal to 7.07 .07 centimeters. So between F and D is only 7.07 .07 centimeters. Now to work out what the height is, the height, also known as AF, is a short side of a right angle triangle. So therefore I take the longest side, square it, so the longest side is going to be 100. Take away the short side squared. So I'll square that length and it gives me a length of 50. So the square root of 50 means that the height is also 7.07 .07 centimeters. With that height calculation, I should be able to work out that the volume of the pyramid, multiply that by 100, and then divide it by 3 gives us a total volume of 235.7 centimeters cubed or to three significant figures that would be 236